Thanks for checking out this unboxing video, and this will be my very first Bobos, uh, full name being big old box of stuff, but Bobos is what most people who already know what it is call it, just, you know, the shortened version. So as you can see, their little logo is a cute, uh, cool, fun little robot logo, and yeah, let me tell you just a little bit about Bobos. If you don't know anything or much about them, Bobos is a very small run company. Uh, it's done by a family, the Rice family out of South Carolina. Uh, it's Robert Rice, his wife and his daughter. And it is personally curated boxes for individuals who order them. Now they limit each month's order to 300 because that's what they can handle. They actually got behind uh, I guess when they did like a Kickstarter and they had to do some extra boxes for their Kickstarter. Um, and then they decided, well, we got to start limiting this. And that's when they limited to 300, I believe. But they were a bit behind. So they're still kind of behind. Uh, this took, from when, I, um, from when I ordered it, I think it took about almost three months to make it to me. But am I mad about that? No. I'm not mad about that because A, I knew that going into it because uh, there was some, uh, I've seen a lot of unboxing videos, plus there's some other stuff on the internet about just know that when you order Bobos it is behind at the moment, so you're just going to have to wait for a while. So I just kind of like put it out of my mind and I'm like, it'll show up when it shows up. I understand. They're a small run company, family owned. I mean, that's fine. That's totally fine with me. Plus, all the unboxings I've watched have been outstanding. Everybody really loves what has shown up in their Bobos. So that is great and it gives me hope that this will be awesome for me. Now, they when I say they personally curated, I mean that they actually have you fill out a questionnaire when you purchase. So there are a bunch of check boxes that you have to check. Uh, well, there's tons of them, but you have to check at least five. And then there are some fields that you can fill in of like, you know, what TV characters or movie characters do you really like? You know, what are you super into? So there are certain th things they really specialize in. So they have a bunch of like horror stuff on there and like other collectibles like Marvel stuff and DC and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's what the check boxes are, things they're very familiar with. Uh, I, I believe when I filled out mine that it's been a while, but I believe I had a hard time coming up with my fifth check box. So I don't even remember what I checked as my fifth one. So it could be something that I wasn't even like crazy into. Um, but I don't even remember what it was. It may have been Harry Potter. I don't know. Like I like Harry Potter, but I'm not crazy about it. But I just, I can't remember if that's what it was or if I did like a, a Marvel something or other. I don't remember. Um, but I'm mainly into horror, as you know, if you've watched my other videos. So I mainly just did horror stuff. Um, a few things I would be very impressed if they had in here because I know it's definitely outside of their scope of what they know and what they try to get. Um, but they, I know they say they do try for the other stuff that you put on there. They're not all that familiar with. They just like, we'll see what we can do type thing, which is fine. Um, if there's anything Mass Effect in here, I'll be impressed because Mass, I love Mass Effect, the game series. And Mass Effect Andromeda is about to come out, which is awesome, hopefully. Eh. Uh, and the other thing I'll be super impressed with, Twin Peaks. Yes, the show from the early 90s, Twin Peaks. Uh, very big fan of that series. think it was really awesome, really cool. Plus, Showtime has a new um, season of it coming out in March. I or no, I'm sorry, May. May 21st, because it's the day right before my birthday. Which, hopefully, that'll be awesome, too. So, if there's anything Mass Effect, I'll be impressed. If there's anything Twin Peaks, I'll be crazy impressed. But, at any rate, I think it's going to be good, hopefully. So, let's open it up and get into it. The box is really light, though. It's kind of weird. It's, like, super light feeling. Um, so, I'm hoping that it's good stuff. I mean, from what I've seen, I should have no reason to believe that it's not going to be really cool stuff, because... Every unboxing, of which I have watched a lot, everyone, like, is in love with their Bobos box. So that's great. I'm going to put it over to the side. Take out the paper. There's always some paper on top. Okay. First thing. Small thing. Let's see. Oh, sweet. Alien. Nice, nice, nice. So a Pocket Pop Keychain Alien product. Let me move this a little bit. All right. Yeah, and it's uh, a little alien with the little, uh, it's a little tongue alien coming out. 
So these pocket pops are actually keychains. Um, there, so you can see it better. Uh, actually, let me take it out if I can. Let's see if I can get it out of here so you can get a better look at it. It's cool, man. I don't have much alien stuff, which I wish I had more, so this will really help out. Yeah, look at this guy. Look at him. Little cartoonish, cool pop, uh, Funko Pop alien dude. You see his little thing coming out there? It's pretty sweet. Looks good. And it's a keychain. And actually, my wife was just saying recently, oh, uh, I just got a, uh, a new car, and she was like, you don't have, like, any keychains now. Or, yeah, and because I got rid of the keychains I did have before. And then, here we go. Now I have a keychain. And it's alien. Awesome. Love it. Like I said, I don't really have alien stuff. So now I'm getting some. Something else small? <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Oh, and there's some, some buttons stuck to it because it's a magnet. So I'll look at those in a minute. A magnet, which is also cool. I've actually been hoping for magnets in some of the boxes that I've been getting because I just don't have magnets. I have a mini fridge in my basement for my craft beer. I have a fridge behind me, as you can see, which doesn't have any magnets on it. So it's cool that I got one. Uh, wake up, little girl is what it says, and it's Freddy Krueger. I am a fan of the Nightmare on Elm Street series. I own the whole box set. Good stuff. Like it quite a bit. So that is a nice magnet. I will use it. Of course I will use it. Very cool. There's something quite on the larger side in here. I think there's a pop figure in here. And then something that feels like some other figure. Oh, yes. I was actually wondering if, if I would get this. Uh, I kind of felt like I would because one of my main characters that I put on there that I really love is Sam from Trick or Treat. Huge fan of Sam from Trick or Treat. So, uh, it's the horror series uh, reaction figures, and it's the Sam reaction figure, and he even has his little thing, his little lollipop, if you can see him in there. I'm not going to take him out, I'm actually just going to leave him in here and display him that way, most likely, um, just because I don't... <sighs> Here's the thing about the reaction figures, I don't really like the reaction figures a ton for the actual figure... Uh, I like it for the fact that it's like a packaged figure and the card usually looks really awesome. And when the case with Trick or Treat, with the Sam one, the card, card look, I mean, look, get a good look at that. The card is outstanding and the figure is cool, so I'd rather just leave him in, in the, in the, the uh, packaging. So that's cool. I was actually wondering. I kind of felt like I would get this and I got it and that's awesome. Because I really don't have that many Sam things either. I've just started to collect a few things. And uh, actually, I don't think I have, like, anything Sam. Which is terrible that I that I don't up to this point. So, awesome. Thank you, Bobos. All right, next we have... <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Okay, so I don't have many pop uh, vinyl figures either. But uh, the, fir the only first one I got was actually... I know people are probably going to shake their heads when I say this. It was from uh, Secret Life of Pets. It was the cat Chloe. But that's because my wife really wanted it because we have a cat named Chloe. And she's gray and white. And it's a gray and white cat. And, you know, it just fits. So, but here's my first pop figure that's not, you know, Secret Life of Pets. It's like a legit pop figure. So it is Ellen Ripley from Aliens. Not from Alien. Aliens. Um, and it looks cool. It's very cool. I don't know if I had actually seen this pop figure before. Uh, you can see she's, you know, hanging out with her gun there. That's a nice one. That's cool. So there's definitely kind of a theme of aliens overall. That's cool. She's got some blood on her, on her, um, around her ankles. It's kind of like taped up. Yeah, she's got like scratches on her face. This is cool. This is a good... Oh, there's only two in this series, which is kind of weird. It was just Ellen Ripley and the um, and the Queen Alien. So that's cool. Nice. So my first, like, real pop figure, and it's Ellen Ripley from Aliens, which I gotta watch that again. Oh, I said I was gonna do these little pins. Oh, sweet. A Jason Voorhees pin. Him with his mask. I'm try and get some of the glare off. 
There you go. You can see it well enough. Everyone's seen Jason Voorhees' mask before. It's his mask. It's cool. And then the other pin. Oh, I like this. I really like this one. This one's a really nice button. Um, Freddy Krueger. Uh, I like that it's that it's kind of like the drawing style. If you can see it, if I can hold my hand still enough, and it's got like the green background. It's pretty cool. It's nice. That might have been it. Well, not it. It because I always put candy in, and Smarties. I'll eat it. I'm not a huge candy guy, but I like Smarties, and I'll eat Smarties for sure. I think that was it. Okay. So then they have their little uh, thing. Okay, and they actually write on it, Team Bobos. Um, and just basically says thank you for the order, and they don't actually they don't automatically renew anything. That they only do the three hundred per month. So if you want another one, you have to re-sign up. So you know that kind of sucks because I'd like to get more, but I understand the situation, which is you know they're behind on things. They only have so much staff and so much time, and they want a lot of people to be able to experience the box. So I understand. You know, it's like first come, first serve, first 300 ordered each month. That's what they're going to fill. So I totally understand it. But I think I'm going to try to sign up for some more because this is pretty cool. Um, recap, Ellen Ripley pop, nice. Uh, Sam trick or treat, very, very nice because, God, I love Sam and I don't have enough Sam stuff. So sweet. Uh, the Freddy Krueger magnet, been wanting a magnet, and Freddy Krueger is a very nice one to have. The two pins. The Jason Voorhees pin and the Freddy Krueger pin. I have a cork board. I'll just jam these onto there. Um, and then the the keychain, which I've been needing a keychain, and it is the alien. So uh, this is nice. This is a nice first Bobos. A nice first Bobos. Um, and it makes me want to watch Alien and Aliens, which I think I'm going to have to do. But thank you, everyone, for checking out this video. Thank you very much, Robert Rice and your family. I'm sorry I don't know the names here wife and your child um really apologize for that but uh you guys at team bobos you guys are doing a awesome job uh don't let anyone get you down about you know being a little bit behind because they're cool boxes and no one else no one else is doing a personally curated box like this and it's cool it's so cool so you'll be seeing me signing up again um if you can get in the future some twin peaks something I'll give you major points for that. You would impress the hell out of me if you could. But that that's a tall order because I know there's not that much stuff out there. But anyway, thank you so much, Team Bobos. Everyone, go sign up. Uh, look for Bobos. Just search Google. Find their website. And then uh, get yourself a box. It's fun. Uh, even just signing up, uh, filling out the questionnaire is a good time. Uh, just like, I like this, I like this. So anyway, thanks again. And Bobos, killing it. And thank you. Keep it brutal. I always say at the end of this, I almost forgot. Bobo's got me thrown off my game. Keep it brutal.